you guys out there. We're live with you today out here on the waters of Beaufort, South Carolina, right out in the St. Helena Sound. And we're using a 17 foot Sea Hunt powered by a 90 horsepower four stroke motor pulling a 25 foot trawl net with you guys. A lot of you guys have been enjoying our videos, so we just wanted to come on live. This is live. There may be a little bit of issues with the sound quality. We do have a five to 10 mile power wind right now out here with us all off the coast coming in on us. So, you know, uh, we may be a little bit distorted, but you know, we wanted to bring you guys along. We want to thank everybody that has subscribed to the channel. You know, the channel has seen a lot of growth here lately, and we're super excited about it. Uh, even videos, you know, that I put on there, you know, two or three days ago, they're getting like 2.5 to 3,000 views, and that's big time for a boy right here in South Carolina. I'm out here with my wife, Steph, and the day has been a really, really struggle for us. We're launching this 25-foot trawl net right off of Harbor Island. You can see it back over here in the distance and uh we're dealing with the full moon tide guys the full moon tide down here right now and that means that our water you know we're seeing a fluctuation in the waters of about 10 foot so it makes the tide move faster it's faster in and out so when we launched the net over here off the the beach we tried to get across this deep 45 foot channel two times and the net uh, pull rope one of our doors they come across the center line of our net you guys that are shrimpers you guys that are dealing with stuff like this you know what i'm talking about you know um how you can be coming across that deep channel and that door it'll just roll up and it'll just tangle that net up so each time guys with this type of setup small boat you're gonna have to carry that net back to the beach it's almost impossible for me and my wife fix that net out here on the water so that was the struggle uh getting started today and we've been out here for three or four hours shrimping ain't easy i keep telling you guys this in these videos and i want to show you some of our catch today look here what you guys think we got some beautiful shrimp but right now we're only at about 20 pounds of de-headed shrimp 20 pounds guys and another thing we've had sharks we've had a bunch of um, the horseshoe crabs and even had a really really big stone crab check out the claw that come off of that guy and here in south carolina i tell people on our our crabbing videos if we ever get one of these stone crabs in our you know crab traps while we were crabbing for them blue crabs we are allowed to keep just one claw off the stone crab here in South Carolina. So a lot of you guys, you've been, you know, you have a small boat and you're interested in this shrimp trawling. And it is commercial, guys. You have to have a commercial license to pull the trawl net and another uh, little captain's license you got to pay for and acquire. And then on top of that, if you're interested like me and my wife Steph, if you love to be out here it is you know a situation that comes on that you know you really can't eat all the shrimp that you're catching so therefore you need to be able to get rid of the shrimp the most logical thing to do and the best thing to do is go ahead and buy that license to sell your shrimp if you get into this situation we fell in love with it we're still doing it with a small boat because this is the way we like to do it you know, I ain't willing to step out there yet, guys, and put you on that big boat. But I know a lot of guys down here in this area, they sure would like to take us along. They, you know, kind of offered it here and there, but we just hadn't did anything. And look here, shrimping ain't easy, guys. I'm out here in my socks, got my swim shorts on because I have to get out the boat to put the net up on the beach. That is the way we do it. I set everything up, hook my doors up, make sure my lines are hooked up and we spin this boat around and then we pull it right off the beach. That's the way we do it. So here's Steph, she might want to say a few things to you guys. Hey guys, thanks for coming along with us today. 
It's been a pretty day. We struggled to start with, but the Lord's blessed us with some shrimp for our struggle, so. That's right. At least we'll get to eat good supper. All you got to do is come out here and stick with what you love. You'll be blessed for it. Right, right. Steph? And yeah. take a look, guys, right back up here in the distance. You can see it, the New Harbor River Bridge. And if you guys get to visit this area, you need to make sure you at least ride down here across this Harbor River Bridge and just see the beautiful view off the top of it. If you're at Eddystone Beach and you look south, you see this big bridge off in the distance right here. So you guys in Eddystone, yeah, I'm talking to you guys. Look right here to your right down the beach, guys. That's your Harbor River Bridge. That's what you're seeing in the distance, this big structure out here. And for you guys who have been with us for shrimping on our channel uh, a year or two ago, y'all have helped, um, or y'all have watched as we have watched them build this bridge. So it's pretty cool. You can see all the cranes and things like that and the small bridge that was still there in some of our older shrimping videos because we shrimp in this area a lot. Yeah, that beauty. Move to the back of the boat right here, and um, look, there's actually some dolphin and seagulls there. They're right over our net back there. It's 120 foot back to the to the, our uh, trawl net. You can see a white buoy off in the distance and a green one that's connected to our tail bag. And there's dolphins and seagulls right over the top of them. Sometimes that's a good sign. It might mean you know you get some shrimp or. We can actually see shrimp jump over the net sometimes. If we hit a good spot of shrimp, it's easy to see shrimp jump sometimes. Guys, just look around us. Look at the beauty that we get to see. Look at the clouds off in the distance. If you're the type of person that just loves the beauty, you know, of what you are surrounded by, you know, Beaufort, South Carolina offers a lot of things for people to do and see. And we, Beaufort, I'll say Beaufort, is growing. It's at a rapid, rapid pace. And if you guys, if you want something down here in Beaufort, South Carolina, you better step out on that limb and go ahead and get it. Because, you know, these properties, they, they're slowly dwindling away. So, the population continues to increase because here on South, in South Carolina, you know where we have the, we're ranked number three in the nation now now guys of people relocate that is how it is and that is the way it's going to probably continue here for a while because who wouldn't want to be down here on this water walking these beaches finding these shells these sharks teeth and doing this shrimp trawling and all this stuff who wouldn't want to do this if you are one of those people that wouldn't want to do this, I'm sure you wouldn't be watching this video right now. So I know all you guys uh, love it just like I do. And I just want to, again, thank each and every person who's hit that subscribe button. You don't know what you did to this small town boy and that small town girl. You know, we walk around now and we have a few people that actually see us at the stores and stuff like that. I got a old uh, big jacked up black bronco some of you guys might see me down here in Buford in it and I got salty reflections across the back window so that's helping some of these guys out here to notice the channel and just something that we come up with and we also you know are trying to do shirts and stuff uh, pictures and designs that Stephanie's coming up with on Teespring for you guys and you can also get in contact with Stephanie through the comments if you want her to you know make you a, a handcrafted or personalized shirt right the dry fit type the dry shirt, fit, like long sleeve that's what we like to use a lot of time in this area because you know it helps us to stay out of the sun a little bit we're always putting sunblock on and we're watching out for ourselves guys the best we can but we can't help it we got to get out here we got to do it we love it i'm telling you it's been a struggle today. It's been a battle. And, you know, I did bring the camera. I was going to try to make a video for you guys. And with all the things that were going on, you know, it's hard to video when you're so frustrated. We make mistakes and things happen. But then when things get to looking pretty good, you know, I think about you guys. And I wanted to bring you along on this live video. 
Yeah, uh, nothing much more to see. Give y'all guys a little look at our shrimp again, the ones of you that might not be seeing them yet. This is what we're after. We're after those white shrimp. And I think this right here, a little darker color shrimp, that's a brown shrimp in our area. You can see one mixed in every now and then. Don't forget about that big old stone crab, crab claw that we have. And until the next time, guys, I think I've run my mouth enough. This old boy and that young lady right there, she thinks she's just as much as me. She's dirty as can be. Oh, yeah. Dirty. Dirty. It's hard seeing the screen, guys. I know um, you guys, I've seen some comments coming up, but we're out here in the sun, the reflection off of it. We, we are live. We see what we are um, filming, so we hope we're in focus. Everything's looking good to me. I mean, I we're trawling time. along. Yes, about the water temperature earlier. It's 81 degrees. The water high. temperature right here now, guys, uh, for the one that was asking, is 81 degrees right here, right now. And we're pulling this 25 tra foot trawl net. And another thing, you know, some of you guys that have experience with trawling, you're telling me to keep my net out of the prop wash. Okay. So get maybe you guys can tell me, right? So I'm slowly making this, this right turn and you can see my prop wash is going to the right. The net is pulling into the cleaner water. And I think this is what some of the guys has been telling me to do. And for you guys that are experienced and you need to uh, confirm that for me. I want you to give me those comments. I want you to give me those loves and those likes. And I want you to share my videos because I'm working hard for them. My wife, she's been working hard for them. Three years, guys, we've been pushing forward. We're at 9,240 something subscribers right now. We thank each and every one of you guys that's watching. God bless y'all. We'll see you. Give us that like. Check y'all out later.